Hey people, how's it going? Thanks for coming back. Um, today, we are back to our regular schedule, no worries. Um, I thought I'd talk about books in a general sense, and like kind of reading. Um, I used to love reading as a kid. I mean, I would like wipe out entire series in like one go. Once, once I started reading a book and I liked it, I physically could not put it down. I would just be walking around the house reading it the whole time. And, I don't know, I feel like everyone's always saying reading is good for you. I totally agree. Reading just gives you such an expansion of vocabulary. Probably imagination, too. I always had a beautiful imagination. And I feel like a lot of that you can um, attest to my reading. Because it was like, you're just reading words, and you had a picture of what's happening. So, bam, pictures start flowing. I don't know. So yes, reading was always good, but I kind of went into a decline at some point where I stopped reading as much as I did, and recently, I started reading Game of Thrones, like the TV show, but in the book form, and so I started reading through it, and I had tried a few months prior, but I guess I was just like, I was trying to read on a train, and I just wasn't feeling it, and so I tried again like a couple days ago, and all of a sudden it's like, bam, this is like the best shit in the world, and... I'm like knocking down pages left and right. So, I feel like, as just a message to the viewers, to however few of you there are, um, if you ever kind of like try reading and you don't like it, maybe try it at a different time. Maybe you just weren't in the mood at that time. Because sometimes, yeah, I'm not in the mood to read a book. Reading a book, you kind of got to sit down. You got to give it your attention, I guess. I don't know. But... There's some times where you're just like, you're just kind of sitting around, you're trying to figure out what to do, you're like bored, you know what you can do when you're bored? You can go read a book. So, pick up something that interests you. I've always been a fan of like fantasy and medieval times and stuff, so Game of Thrones is right up my alley. But, if you don't like that kind of stuff, if you like classic British literature or whatever, then go, get that, I'm not stopping you. There's libraries everywhere. My library here on campus is like, three, four stories, and it has, like, an underground. It's crazy. But, you know, reading, reading is very important. You should read. If you're one of those people who doesn't like holding books and just, like, listens to audio tapes, go for it. I had a friend. He just laid on his bed, listened to audio tapes of the Artemis Fowl series, and, I mean, I guess it still technically counts as reading. It's like being told a story. But, either way, it kind of teaches you, I don't, I don't know if it teaches you new things, but it makes your mind more open to these new fantastical realms, whatever the hell you want to call it, or even if it's a non-fiction book, just the stuff that happened in the past, I don't know. My suggestion is go out there, get a nice book. I always like to go with a series, because a lot of time, if you just read one book, and then all of a sudden, like, in a day or two, for me at least, I'm done, and I'm like, okay, well, what do I do now? Pick up a nice series, that way, once you read the first one, you can be like, oh man, I can't wait to get the next one, and you have to go buy the next one, and then it kind of keeps chaining until there's finally some sort of resolve at the end. It's a fun time. Grab a book. In the comments, if you guys want to write about just like what your favorite book is, just give, pop out a little title there, um, feel free. Also, feel free to hit like. I don't know which side that's going to be on this side. Feel free to hit like um, and subscribe if you would like to continue watching me. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you people tomorrow.